Many only see God working in the good situations of life, but never see the work of God in the bad and awful situations of life. God works even in the midst and in the storms of life. That's why you should be rejoicing, because you know that the pains and troubles you're facing and going through are all for the furtherance of life. This is what the hand of God can do in your life. The Word of God says that weeping may endure in the night, but joy will come in the morning. These times of pain you're going through now will not be forever. It's just for a moment. It has a time limit, and when it expires, there will be exceeding joy and happiness in your life by the power of God. The troubles of life will turn for your lifting and promotion. This is God's plan for you. It's so important to know what is God's plan for you, and also what is the will of God for your life. Because many times the reason why many suffer is that they have a wrong perspective about who God is and what God thinks about them. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says that the thoughts of God are good, not evil. You need to know this and catch the vision of God for your life. Because many times the devil will use the times of your trouble and pain to make you doubt God's love and make you think that it's God afflicting and tormenting you. But it's a lie. The devil is a liar. His native language is all lies. He can never say the truth at any time. He'll always keep speaking his lies in hypocrisy, telling you that God wants you down and wants you tormented because of a certain mistake you committed in the past. This was the same thing that happened during the time of Job. Everything bad just happened to him all of a sudden. His children died and all he had in possession was destroyed. What he feared came to pass because the devil was running riot in his life. Job thought it was God, but it wasn't. It was the devil destroying and seeking to make him deny and curse God. Jacob didn't because he knew that all he had before was from God. So if it was taken, God knows why. But if you took a look behind the scene, you'll see the real truth that all that happened were all manifestations of the devil. It was the devil that kept him in bondage. What do we see in the story of Job? We see the perseverance that a man can have that despite the troubles and turmoil that he encountered and experienced, God worked a work in his day that'll make him have the final laugh at last. The story of Job is a story of hope and restoration, that all that he had lost in the whole nine months of pain and suffering, he got it back in one day. That is what the plan of God for our lives is. The plan of God is not that you'll stay in trouble and pain. God plans that you'll soar and fly above every circumstance that comes your way. You will not stay in the valley of the shadow of death forever. You will walk past it and walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Just know that when the time comes, when times are hard, and even when life's not making sense, know during those times that God is with you and He is in the midst of what you're going through. And He feels what He feels. He is the faithful high priest that is always interceding for you and ensuring that you don't break down. Life can be very tough, as if someone's sneezing orange juice from an orange, but it is what makes you sweeter and makes you more valuable than others. When you look at a Rolex watch, you'll never know that those beautiful watches came from gold ore, but when it was in its ore state, it couldn't be used. It had to be cultivated and go through a series of refineries before it could be as beautiful as it is. This is what the process of God looks like. You must see good in all of the troubles you encounter in life, knowing that it's not peculiar to you and there's nothing new under the sun. You will have the final laugh at last. The devil might be playing pranks with you, afflicting you with sicknesses and diseases that might trouble you, but God will be your very present help in the time of trouble. If God is your helper in times of trouble, it means that he can help you. Because he does not, he will not be called your very present help in the time of trouble. You have to understand that God will not fail and disappoint you. Because he has spoken in his word and he can't lie against his word. If he says that he will bless you, he will bless you. If he says that he'll help you and restore you to double, he will do it. And surely he will do it. 
Laughter is a spirit or an influence of the Spirit of God. When the Spirit of God comes on a person, He causes that person to laugh, even amid troubles. You need to come to the place in your life where you know that it's only the Word of God that you can stand on and trust to yield results for you. It is the power of the Word that releases us from the power of darkness. When the enemy comes to show his strong head, it's the Word of God that gives us the assurance and stamina that all things will be ready for us. So, when you're going through that moment of evil and wickedness, look at the Word of God and don't look to men, because if you look to men, they will fail you. But when you look to the living God, He will shower you with blessings and favor that passes the natural. This is why He has said in His Word that you will rejoice in the time of famine and you will dance in the moment of heaviness. Your life will not end up in the way it is now. You will prevail against every opposition and obstruction that is hindering your progress. It will look like a dream because it'll happen all of a sudden. There's a beautiful section of the Songs of Ascent, which is the songs that are being sung as the people of Israel are ascending the temple in its 15th steps, which was a picture of us ascending the stairways of life when the Antichrist comes with his ugly head to buffet and mock us like the young men mocked Elisha. The Song of Degrees says that when the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamed, then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then saith the heathen or Gentiles, that the Lord has done great things for them, whereas we are glad and happy. The thing that makes that song very interesting is that when God does this thing in your life, that'll cause you to laugh at last. He will not do it once in a lifetime, because it says, turn again our captivity like the streams of the south. If God did it before, he'll do it again. This should cause you to begin to rejoice and laugh at that oppression of the devil and tell him to his face that he has lost in trying to put you down because, like a rubber ball, you will ascend thrones and his attacks and come out always victorious. This is your bloodline. This is what is expected in your kind. Your kind is found in the word of God for your life. Don't look at what everyone is going through and define yourself based on what is happening to others. But define yourself based on what God has said, which is that you will laugh last. Glory to God! I once heard of a story of a woman who was promoted to a new place in her office, and all of a sudden she began to experience all sorts of attacks from everywhere. There was a trip she was supposed to make at some time. She couldn't because she had pains in her body that just developed all of a sudden. She knew it wasn't normal, until one day she prayed to God for intervention, and God sent help at last. It seems there was a reversal, because everyone began to come to apologize for setting her up, and at the end, she laughed at them, seeing what the hand of God can do, because now she was their boss.